Never heard you say you admired me for anything. No, I told you I admire your hearing. <laughs> oh, don't slough it off. You have great hearing. Hi. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Good to meet you, George. Hi. Oh, hi. Wendy. You're a physical therapist, right? Yes. You know, I got this little swelling right here. You know, it's kind of kind of. What do you make of it? George, what? have you tried heat and ice on? Oh, that, uh, that really seems like a lot of trouble. Oh, you could come by my office later. I could work on it for you a little. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me give you my card. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll see you guys later. Nice meeting you. Bye, Elaine. Bye, Wendy. I'm sorry. Yeah, bye, Jerry. Bye. What did you do that for? Bad. Ask about your arm. I still don't see why I can't ask her about my arms. She's a physical therapist. She doesn't want to have to deal with that outside of the office. Why not? Because it is what she does. I love these people. You can't ask them questions. They're so mentally gifted that we mustn't disturb the delicate genius unless it's in the confines of an office. When huge sums of money are involved, then the delicate genius can be disturbed. And what's with that hairdo, by the way? Uh, yeah, I know. It's not very flattering. I mean, she looks like something out of an old high school yearbook. <laughs> you should say something to her. Oh, I could never say anything to her about that. Yeah, Kramer's the only person who could say something like that. Yeah. Well, just tell Kramer to tell her. No, if you tell him to do it, he'll never do it. What you have to do is introduce him, and then he'll just come out with it. <gasps> yes, yes, you're right. That's right. I'll bring her over to meet Kramer. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh boys and girls, the devil. Uh, uh, <coughs> Kramer, Kramer, yeah. um, I'd like you to meet my friend Wendy. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really like that hairdo. Oh. Thank you. I, I actually was thinking it might be time for a change. Oh, you were? Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to do that. No, no. <laughs> Nobody wears it like that. No, no, Kramer, she wants to change no, your no, hair. No, no, no. You'd be you a have... damn fool to change it. It's very becoming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, who's that friend of yours, that guy who came in? Oh, Kramer. Yeah. Does he have a girlfriend? You want to go out with him? No, why not? Well, it's just that... I, I don't well, know. Is there anything wrong with him? <laughs> Elaine? No, I'm just thinking about the question. <laughs> I am really glad I took the day off. Oh, yeah, it's nothing better than skiing. Yeah. God, I hope my clients weren't too upset. Ugh, the hell with them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you stopping here for? I'm dropping you off. Oh, no, I'm three more blocks. Yeah, but if I take you right to your door, then I have to go all the way around Central Park West, back to Columbus. You know, it's all one way. Yeah, but it's only three blocks. Right, it, it's only three blocks. <laughs> all right, well... <laughs> miles and all of a sudden three blocks from my door she decides this trip is over isn't that strange yes it's very strange very strange I've never heard of anything like this I mean it's almost as if I was hitchhiking and she said well this is as far as I can take you I'll tell you if you were hitchhiking you'd never get in a car with someone with a hairdo like that I had to carry my skis and my boots and my poles I think I pinched a nerve in my shoulder you should have her work on it for you what's going on Wendy I I injured my shoulder Wednesday when, when you dropped me off and I had to carry my skis and my boots and my poles and everything all the way home. I'm, I'm having trouble lifting my arm. Do you, do you think you could give me some treatment? Oh, sure. You have insurance, right? <laughs> insurance? You're charging me? Wednesday? That's your personal business? Skiing? Oh, so let people suffer while you're shushing all over a mountain. How, how did you hear that? I hear everything. <laughs> all right, why don't you two just take your business elsewhere? Huh? Oh, that is a good idea. Come on, George. Yes, yeah, let's go. And you know, you might want to do something about that hair. <laughs> why, what's wrong with my hair? I think it's a little old-fashioned, don't you? <laughs> Tell her. 
She's right.